Alright, <clears throat> hello everybody, uh, it's Money Man Gaming here, and uh, before I start the video, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing. I got 90 subscribers now, and that's maybe not a lot to you, but 90 is a lot to me, and 21,000 video views, so thanks a lot for uh, subscribing. Anyway, so this video is going to be on how to make your own custom thumbnails. Now this was requested by DJ and Mikey Gaming, he's a friend of mine, so make sure you go subscribe to him. Anyway, so to make custom thumbnails, like, here's a few. This one's actually going to be for this video. Um, so yeah, this is for my next video. Here's a little sneak peek. But anyway, for this video, this is actually what's going to be. So this is this is kind of a sneak peek of what you, you can uh, do with this free software. Uh, free website, actually. And there's no watermarks, none of that, none of that crap. So <clears throat> let's get right to it. First, you want to go to this website called panzoid.com. There's going to be link links in the description. And uh, once you get there, you want to click backgrounder 3 right here and um... there you go, here's your backgrounder uh... how do you make your own uh... um... what am I call it? Uh, I just forgot, sorry uh... but basically to do it you choose a template like this one by the way I'm not using my regular computer I'm using this computer as a laptop it's just um... when my other computer is getting fixed I gotta use this temporarily so uh... yeah, anyway um, I've made like this. I've made with this software. This right here, I made with this software. So this is amazing. So anyway, you wanna pick one of these. Just pick any template. Like we'll choose this one just cause. Um, basics. This is you wanna click what you wanna do. So if you wanna do a thumbnail or maybe your channel avatar or a uh, little square on your channel, but we're gonna do thumbnail. So click that. And then for let's do, we don't need to mess with these unless you want to mess with this background here. You can mess with that. Um, so we'll do like this one. See, you can just change it to all sorts of things. So um, we're gonna just mess with that. This is where you can uh, make all sorts of words and pictures. Um, so you can change the font. Uh, make it bigger. See, like that. We need to change the font up here. There we go. And now it says hello. So there's a bunch of different fonts. Not that many, but I mean there's a there's enough. Like you know, you'll have you'll you you'll find what you want. But anyway, <clears throat> there's a bunch of those. You can change the color if you want and then uh you know change it you make you add like a hold on you change that to like red and then maybe you can make it fade out to a black if you want just cool it's not have like a red and black see it fades from red to black so you can do all sorts of stuff like that if you want to add a picture um you click this sprite to and i have another uh, layer pretty much. So you select, hit file, select, then you, you drag the picture onto your desktop or wherever you want, and then you find the picture. Say, okay, we'll, we'll use a, a picture I'll find here. Um, here's just one of my thumbnails, but we'll just use that as a picture. See? And then boom, there you have it. Uh, See? And then you got your picture here. And if you want to add text, you hit this text box here, and then it'll uh, show up that over there. Show up right here. So, you know, you can just play around with this, make uh, your custom thumbnails, make them look cool. But uh, yeah, it's basically how you do it. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and uh, share it with your friends. All right, I'll see you guys next time.